used to spend many weekends at the beach. But this year, we couldn't go there anymore. The war began. Every day bad things happened around us. This is the opening lines of the journey, a book for kids about the life of a young girl who has to leave her home with her family because of war. This must be the same plots of life stories shared by many young kids around the world. Pawsan Sabri is one of them. They're quite similar in so many ways and also like most refugees um, has experienced this kind of journey and stories, right? Similar in, to me the most is because I was similar to this little girl age. We were in similar age. We were in situations that are confusing, doesn't understand why I have to leave my country, why I have to go to a, a new place that, that your parents don't tell you what exactly it is, you know, who, who are the people out there, what is it out there. So it's similar in so many ways that this little girl is, she doesn't know that where she's gonna go, her mom doesn't really tell her, and she doesn't also understand why she have to leave, right? She just wanna be a little girl, she just wanna play. And when she has to go through all this harsh, difficult journey, then no children, I believe, should have, should have been through something like this. During the journey that you have to flee from your hometown to try to arrive in Thailand, what kept you going? Um, I think my families, um, we want to leave, we want to be together, we want to stick together. I think my family and my mom is like very terrifying, scared and try to protect us and you know taking care of us and my father and, and all of us, all my people, I look around me, they want to be alive, they want to be safe, they, they, all we want is just safety, all we want is just to live another day. And you know we don't know what's ahead of us, but we just want to live another day. We just want to survive another day. Just for us to breathe another day. And I think it's like looking at myself as a little girl, confusing. It doesn't understand. Looking at my parents and my siblings, and all the people around me. You know my current people, and we all want to be safe. We all wanted to live another day, and that's. For just a little girl, give me hope too, like, yeah, I'm going to run. I'm going to run for my life, like everyone. I'm going to be there. It's going to get better. I think hope, even though the unknown hope, they're in the other side, I think also keep me going, yeah. The Journey, the book by Swiss writer Francesa Sanna, aims at telling the story of refugees to kids around the world. Nanmi Books See, this book can be a learning tool to understand differences in Thai society. In Namibook, we will talk about all of them. We will not be able to hear about the people of the people of the people, or the people of 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 the people. Kim Jong Satit Watana draws upon the refugee crisis in Syria, Rohingya, and migration in the US that these stories are not far away from young people of Thailand. The Swiss ambassador to Thailand said that refugee is integrated part of the country's foreign policy, while migration and refugees are part of globalization. Conversation about it is quite essential to promote more understanding. Migration uh, and the, the plight of refugees uh, in a more specific way is touching all countries in the world. And I think this is a, a, a very creative and very long-term sustainable way to bring the issue of migration to the children and to bring it into the classrooms, into the families. And I think to also recognize that migration is not an issue that will be over or will stop and will cease to be relevant in a couple of years time. I think it's a, it's a phenomenon that, that will stay with us, will rest with us and will actually also be a positive phen phenomenon uh, in the future. So to, to, to sens sensitize children, to, to teach them about it, to engage them with their teachers and with their parents as to what the, the complexities and what the opportunities are, I think is a very, very good way forward. So very happy that the book has been published and that it's been uh, launched uh, for the Thai public here in, in, in Bangkok. The book is very handy in terms of promote more understanding, more empathy for refugee and migrant people. But in reality, it seems very difficult and given what the world politics are looking at refugee status, what concerns you the most with their situation? 
I think from a, there, there's a European perspective, of course, and uh, we know that Europe has uh, gone through a very complicated, very difficult uh, few years with regard to its migration status. There's been refugees coming uh, from uh, the Middle East and from Northern Africa. Uh, there's been a lot of migration, economic migration that's combined, and it has to do with political uncertainty and with economic trend change as well, combined with a certain retraction of, 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 of countries with a disillusionment of globalization, it really created a, a bit of a one-sided narrative and made look migration and, and refugees as something very negative, which it really is not. We need to refocus the narrative in Europe, certainly, but also here in Asia about the upside, the potential of migration. As we hope in a small way and in a way addressing and, 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 and uh, uh, t getting into a discussion with, with the young people. Uh, this will contribute to this kind of opening up uh, of, the, of the migration narrative uh, uh, here in Thailand. Today, there are more than 96,000 refugees living in nine refugee camps in Thailand. Migrant workers from many countries in the region live and work in Thailand. Thus, to understand the journey of refugee and migrants may help the young see multifaceted of realities in Thai society. Natha Gomonwatin, Thai PBS World Reports.